Hey everybody, Mr. Morell here, and we're going to do a quick lesson about how to distribute with two sets of parentheses. This is kind of like a double distribution type thing. So it should be fun and exciting and will definitely be a huge part of 10th grade. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you what it means to distribute when you have two sets of parentheses with this example x plus 3 times x minus 4. Now the general idea here is that basically we need to distribute both of these things into this one set of parentheses. So like you guys are used to just distributing one thing, like if we were to distribute that, you know how to distribute that. Essentially this just means that we need to do the same thing but two different times. So to help us do that and to try to keep things nice and clear, I have set up four different steps that are gonna keep you, or at least try to keep you from making a bunch of mistakes. So I'm gonna do three examples all together using these four steps. So step number one, as always, with any expression, always and forever, I change minus signs to say plus a negative. So that's always gonna be step one anytime I'm looking at expressions because it helps me avoid mistakes. Now, step number two is basically implementing that thing that we just barely talked about. The idea that we're basically doing two different distributions. And so what I always do and what you're going to need to do on your homework is you're going to need to show me that you can break this one expression up into two expressions being added together. And this is so, so straightforward. So here we go. First thing is we're going to write this X or whatever's in the very first spot is going to be written right here. Whatever goes in the second spot is going to go over here after the plus sign. So we have x plus 3, and then we're going to put an x in the first spot, and then we have a plus 3 over here. And then what we're going to do is we're basically just going to take this whole thing, including the parentheses, and we're going to write that next to both of them. So again, the big idea is we're just setting up two different distributions. We're breaking up the first parentheses, and we're writing the stuff in the second parentheses twice. And the main reason we do that, there's, good, there's a different method that some teachers in the high school teach that maybe will be fine. It's called FOIL. Your parents probably know about FOILing. But, <laughs> excuse me, but I always found that I made a bunch of mistakes FOILing. So I'm just trying to help you out where this is our first lesson and we kind of have to do it on the computer. So step number two was to break everything up. Step number three is going to be just to go ahead and distribute your two sets of parentheses, because now it looks like the stuff that you're used to. So I'm gonna distribute the X first, and then I'm gonna distribute this three. So let's start with the first set over here. X times X is X squared, plus X times negative four is gonna be negative four X. And again, please forgive my bad computer handwriting. It's tricky. All right, then over here, We've got three times X is three X. And then we have three times negative four is negative 12. All right, so once we have that part done, then our very last step is going to be uh, that we need to combine like terms. Now I talked about this in 14.1. An X squared is not a like term with a regular X. We cannot combine those. So as I'm going through my expression, an x squared, there's nothing else that can combine with that. So we're just gonna write an x squared right here. We have a negative 4x and a 3x. We can combine those two to be a negative 1x. Now the one is optional. You could just write negative x if you want to. And finally, we have a negative 12. So that is one way to simplify the expression or to write the answer. You could also uh, get rid of those plus negatives, put it back to the most simplified version, and just for kicks and giggles, I'll get rid of that one. So we could have x squared minus x minus 12 would be another way that you could write this answer. All right, so that was question number one. I'm gonna do another one that's the exact same level of difficulty next, and then we're gonna do a level three question. So step number one, 
change your minus signs. Minus signs are such a booger. So we're going to make that say plus a negative 7, and we're going to make that say plus a negative 8. Okay, step number 2, we're going to break it up. So remember, the way we break this up is we're going to take the first set of parentheses, and the very first thing goes in this spot here, and the second thing is going to go in this spot over here. Then we're going to write the second set of parentheses twice. Plus, oh my gosh, this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> oh well, I just write like a child apparently. Plus negative eight, close those parentheses. Okay, next up, step number three is, let me get my pen, <clears throat> we're going to distribute. So this multiplied, this multiplied, and then we're going to also distribute the second set over here. So that's going to leave us with x squared plus negative 8x plus, and then over here, negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And finally, negative 7 times negative 8 is a positive 56. All right. Last step is that we need to combine like terms. And so x squared, there's nothing to combine with that one. There are no other x squareds in this example. But there is a negative 7x and a negative, oops, a negative 8x and a negative 7x. Together, those make negative 15x plus 56. And you could also write x squared minus 15x plus 56. That would be a definitely great and acceptable answer too. All right, let's go ahead and look at our last example, this level three question, same exact steps. We're gonna start off by uh, changing our minus sign, so only one, we'll go ahead and change that. Step number two, we're gonna break stuff up. So you can see why this one's a little trickier. It has a four x here. But using this method that we've set up, this is going to be pretty straightforward. So we're going to have a 4x, and then we're going to put the negative 2 over here. And then, I'll oh, keep it with red. We're going to write the second set of parentheses. Oh, no, I hated that. We're going to write the second set of parentheses twice. x plus 8 goes here. And x plus 8. <laughs> I don't know how to make this better. <laughs> All right, sweet. Step number three is that we are going to distribute. So we're going to distribute the first set of parentheses, and we're going to distribute into the second set of parentheses over here. So 4x times x, I really went over that in the last assignment, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's going to be 4x squared because it's four times x times x, that's four x squared. Plus four x times eight is gonna be 32 x. Plus negative two times x is negative two x. Plus negative two times eight is negative 16. All right, our last step is that we are going to combine like terms. So let me get green. No, nothing to combine with the x squared term, so we're just going to call that 4x squared. And then we're going to go ahead and combine these two things here. That's going to be plus, oh, what would that be? 31x plus nothing to combine with the negative 16. It's just out there on its own. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh man, yeah, we'll pretend like that's pretty. And there you go. That is your lesson about multiplying with two parentheses. I hope that was helpful and that you have a great uh, time doing your homework. Okay, bye.